Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hello, my dear friends. This is a new video with the spelling lessons that we have for this week, week 11. And today we're going to go over an old lesson that we studied before and we explained to you. So let us go for the whiteboard here. So here is a sentence in which they someone wrote i'm not happy today and um as a as a person who knows english you should know more than one structure so sometimes you say i'm not happy today and some other times you can go for the same meaning but you can say i'm sad today they have the same meaning. I'm not happy is the same like I'm sad. And guess what? You can also write, you can also write, I'm unhappy today. So here we have the word happy and we have an, a word that is the opposite of it, which is sad. We can say opposite or antonym. And sad is the same meaning like unhappy. So I, if I compare the happy and unhappy, I find that there is UN in the beginning of the word. We call this UN a prefix. So what's a prefix? If you can remember from the first time, from the first time that we explained that lesson, it is a group of letters that we use in the beginning of the word or before the word to change the meaning. To change the meaning, guys. And always remember, it's before the word. Before the word. Don't, don't, don't forget, please. Before the word. And some of you will say, oh, happy, unhappy, uh, honest, dishonest. Uh, let's 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 write that so here if we wrote happy unhappy and we say um, believable unbelievable and so on so you also have honest dishonest you have like dislike you have take mistake you have spell misspell and so on so we can see that mostly the un this and miss give us the opposite meaning of the word. So if you say, I like tennis, I dislike tennis. I don't like it. But that, that doesn't mean that every prefix just give us the, the opposite meaning. Because I may have the word to write something and I ask you to rewrite it. So re here doesn't give me the opposite meaning. It it says it just says write again. So to rewrite is to write again. To reread, to read again. To replay, to play again, and so on. So at the end of the explanation time, I would like to tell you that today we study prefixes, and we know that prefixes come before the word, and they just they are there to give to change the meaning of the word mostly to get the opposites but not every time um don't i forget that we studied something different but i'm not going to refer to it but you, i guess that you remember it okay so now let's see what do we have here yes we have this lesson page 194 and I'm going to explain what you should do here, and I will let you do that. The, the, the two pages of today 
are extremely easy or extremely simple. You're not going to do much work in them. So here I have a spelling word list here, which is unhappy. Of course, you know now you remove the un, you have the word happy. Misspell, you just remove the miss, you have the word spell. Um, rewrite, and we studied rewrite, which means to write again. Recall, recall, recall. So recall, to call something again, which is to remember. And this like unroll, disappear, of course, the, 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 appear, disappear. Replace, replace. You place, to take a place, then you replace. Unknown, which is the opposite of known. He's, he's not a known person. He's an unknown person. To unload, to mislead, which is the opposite of lead. Dishonest, honest. Mistake, disagree, I don't agree. Me disagree means to refuse. But agree is the opposite, which is to accept. React, when you react to someone's, someone who did something to you, so you reacted. Now, in this exercise, you're going to add a prefix to, e to each underlined word. So if I, I have the word load, I have the word lead, like, agree, spell, honest, write, and appear. You just have to go back to the spinning word list and check load. Does it go for miss or this or un or whatever? So I look here, load, 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 unload. So you go for unload. You go for unload and lead and so on. So you go for each word and you just know what goes for load doesn't go for lead because I say I don't say I'm lead. Uh, I don't say I'm. Um, sometimes you say more than one thing, but here I would like you to study that like dislike, like dislike, because unlike has a different meaning. So I say this is a very good point, guys, that you should understand. Sometimes you say, "Oh, I like this person; he's a good guy." And I say, I dislike that one. I don't, I don't like him. But unlike my brother, I'm a tall person. I'm not that tall, but I'm saying an example. So unlike means different from. Okay? It, it doesn't mean that uh, I hate, no. I hate is I dislike. So this is really important, guys, because this is for synonyms. You have to understand the words. And you have to know what does each word with the prefix mean. So unfamiliar, if you have the word unfamiliar, unfamiliar. If you remove the un, you know the word familiar, which is known. So unfamiliar is unknown. Unfamiliar, unknown. It seemed like error, mistake. However, there is a difference between error and mistake. And I would like you to look up the difference between both of them. And we meet again, inshallah, and you tell me what's the difference between them. To remember to recall, I just said this when I was reading the words. To remember something is to recall it. So you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stare in the ceiling to recall what happened last year. And spray out is to unroll. And if you responded to to anyone, you just reacted to them. Oh, we would like to replace that tire to get another tire. And said is unhappy. This is so easy. If you go to page 198, guys, in our course book, you're going to have this small mess, this message. And I would like you to circle some four misspelled words, words that were written incorrectly. So pause the video, check the word, and spot them. Yes, I know that you're clever, and mashallah, you spotted the, the words. Uh, mistake is wrong. A lot, there is a space. I can write the word as a whole. Disagree and replace. And they ask us to write the second sentence, adding the missing helping verb. And the missing helping verb is here, I guess. Uh, okay, so uh, it's would. So that would make a lot of children unhappy. Now, this is an extreme. This is so easy, guys. You just have to find which word is written correctly. So it's so easy to write recall. This happens after you study the words, guys, and misspell and finally disappear. Thank you so much for your time. Hope to see you again, inshallah. Bye-bye.